Hitler again. Hey guys, so I started seeing these creatures and, and, and demon beings and I realized that, that whatever love is or joy is or peace is, they don't know because they use it but as suppressions for the anger and sadness that they experience inside themselves. And I noticed that all human beings were angry or sad or full of hatred. And especially during that time when, when I existed, you know, it's basically under, it's understandable. And so with my experiences, I didn't even dare write it down or anything because I was looking at it strangely. I was saying, okay, if I were to write it down, maybe everything would become more real from the perspective that, that these creatures, these monsters, would actually completely take over these beings. Um, what I found strange is that even with these creatures and monsters within beings, they seem normal. Um, but that, you know, it didn't make sense. How did this, how does this fit together? How does human beings have these normal lives, which they perceive to be normal, and yet these creatures and these monster, monsters are inside them? They speak words which they don't even mean, or don't even know the meaning of, and yet these creatures and these monsters feed off their suppressions, their, their sadnesses, their angers, their fears, that's what they feed off. And what's fascinating is that most of them enjoyed it when beings prayed. I mean, my mother usually had like seven of them within her when, while she was praying so fervently. Um, and children... Children had strange fears, and therefore I, I mainly became a loner because I couldn't speak to anyone because everyone that was in my world at that time, I just saw these, these demons within them. And so I was quite alone for most of my life. I preferred that um, because I, I basically started investigating these demons within human beings, started noticing behaviors where they act, where they don't act, where they sometimes jump in completely, usually in fights, and they enjoyed that, I noticed, um, when two beings started to fight or something like that, uh, the demons would actually come in and just induce the fight even more further. It was like human beings in my world were puppets for them, on strings which these demons had control of. and. They were directed and changed, and, and they had the ability to speak through these human beings even sometimes. I experienced it many times. So here I was, a child, I was about 17, 18, alone, seeing all these things and not understanding a thing, nothing. But yet I was fine, it was interesting. It was like, sometimes I wonder if I was sent here, maybe I'm on some strange existence, some strange world. Um, where I'm, I was sent to come and fix it, or to come and sort it out, or something like that. But one thing was certain, that whatever was within human beings as the demons, they were actually in control of this world. They were that which was standing before that which the human beings really was, as what I saw myself to be. Um, I would define it as life. It's called it life, because um, it was in the trees as well. <laughs> as me. Um, but I knew there was something. But not even the human beings were aware of it because they were not human beings, they were demons speaking. But the human beings weren't even aware of it. So it's like, but then who are human beings then? That was my question. If these demons speak through them, influencing them, feeding off them, and I see them back there somewhere suppressed, then what is speaking? And that's when I started seeing these systems inside human beings. Now what it looked like was you had the being which is called the life essence um, as who they were as me within the solar plexus area back there suppressed. There were like these seven strings pulled up from their essence up into their head with these seven lines crossing the mind area and within that there was a system. A system that was linked to the eyes, the mouth, 
they had everything in the middle of the brain. Now I saw this, and I realized that, and and of course down the spine, and in, it was like a system inside these human beings. And then that source that I'd seen, that life essence, was somewhere at the back there, and, and it had these strings connected to the system. And I realized that, oh my God, these people are systems. Human beings are systems, and I kind of like looked inside myself, you know. Oh, usually I, to make sure I'm clear, I usually stand in front of the mirror and look inside my own eyes to see if I'm clear. Um, it's the only way I knew how to look, because everything I'd seen was through human beings' eyes. Um, and, you know, then I went, oh my God, what is going on here? Because, now for me, I, you see, it wasn't really fearful, a fearful matter, because everything, God, you know, looked like pictures, you know, and I knew I couldn't be harmed. Um, I interpreted everything as pictures, so for a while I really believed myself to be in a picture world. Everything just looked like pictures. And I played with it, it was fun. Sometimes I wondered if I could maybe color myself indifferently or change my shape. I tried that, with no success of course. But that's how I interpreted everything. And I started looking at these human beings, and so what happened is these systems are talking. And every time the system would talk, it, it, would, it would extract like a, um, a little bit from the life force essence within the human beings and would start extracting it. And then it used that to speak, use that to express emotionally, use that to express a feeling, uh, use that to laugh, everything. Anything or any movement of a reactive expression. Um, reactive expression is both feelings and emotions or communication. Um, because everything in this world is reactive, you know, something happens and a reaction occurs, it's not a participation, it's not an expression. Um, so when a reactive expression occurs, it would actually seep from the life force essence of the beings that was equal to me. And then it would kind of generate either the emotional feeling, and then from there, from the generation, these creatures, these demons would kind of like feed off it. And I went, there's definitely not a, some higher power source essence in or of this world that is in some way protecting me. That is impossible. Um, because maybe that life high essence source thing is of a dark nature, is of, I really sometimes wondered if I'm not maybe in hell. I wondered so many things, you know, I, I looked at everything and I wondered, am I, am I in a coma somewhere in a life and all this that I'm seeing is an alternate universe or an alternate existence because everything really seemed so surreal. I just couldn't fathom it into a sustainability of certainty at all. Okay, this is Hitler. I will continue in my next interview. Thank you very much.